Yes, it's Ruby. It's time for another Las Vegas buffet review. We are here at Luxor to try their weekday brunch. Now, normal price is going to be $31 per adult, but if you play My Vegas, you will get a buy one, get one half off. So let's see if this is worth $17 each. Got seated here at Luxor. I forgot how themed it is. This is so cool. I kind of love that it's like very Egyptian themed. So this buffet is open Wednesday to Sunday. They're not open on Mondays and Tuesdays. And the price is $31 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. If you use the My Vegas Reward, it's buy one, get one. So $17 a person. To clarify this, because I have been getting questions, My Vegas is a slot app. You play, you earn points, and those points go towards getting coupons. So that's how you do it. It's totally free. We are going to go up and see what they have on offer. We're here around 10, 10.30ish. 10 All right, I definitely want French toast. So I'm going to grab that. And let's see. There's an apple crab here. I'm going to put that over the top. That looks good. I've had those cheese blitz before. Those are good. It's country fried steak. Yes, please. Let's get that. That looks good. All right, uh, let's grab a biscuit to go with that country fried steak. And we'll put some gravy on them. That is some thick looking gravy there. That all over. Beautiful. Breakfast potatoes. Those look good. Let's get some of those. Let's get some eggs. These look like they have diced ham in them. It's not labeled, but that's what it looks like. A little diced ham in our eggs here. And then. I'll probably get some of that bacon, which looks really good. Let's get one of that. Ooh, yum. And we'll grab uh, sausage. That was really hard to grab. All right, there we go. All right, took a look around the buffet. It's not huge, I'm gonna say that, so I don't know how much we're gonna have to try, but I did grab a lot of the breakfast items to start. Let's go ahead and start with some eggs. So these are, it looks like they have some ham inside them, Canadian bacon maybe. Give them a go. So right off the bat, they are tepid. My food's usually not totally hot when I start eating it because we have to get shots, but this is like tepid. Like they weren't very hot when we scooped them out. So that's definitely a negative. They're a little bit um, wet, like not the, nat they're not fresh. These are like the mass prepared eggs, which is normally fine, but when they're already not a great temperature, that's definitely not very attractive. I'm not really tasting the ham in there. Um, they don't generally like salt or season the foods really heavily here at the MGM buffets. It's just so that people can do it themselves. So I'm not worried about the salt level there, but they're not great. Now they do have a build your own omelet station. I'm sure that would definitely be the much better option if you are coming here and you want eggs. I would just get an omelet. We probably won't get one today because they're usually pretty good, but let's try the breakfast potatoes. These do look really nice. So one potato, delicious. Good seasoning, you know, nice texture. The other potato, underdone. Um, so it, I don't think these are evenly cooked, unfortunately. When I get a cooked one, they're really good. They're not crazy seasoned or anything, but they're just a nicely cooked breakfast potato. But then you get like a bite of one that's just like slightly raw, slightly underdone, and that's very off-putting. Not a good start, you guys. I remember, we, we haven't been here in years, but the last time I went here, I was disappointed. I didn't enjoy it, and we're not off to a great start. <laughs> but let's see if we can turn it around. Let's try the biscuits and gravy here. A really thick country gravy. Usually these are pretty good on the MGM buffets. Let's see. Okay, not horrible, but not great. Um, the biscuit is not very light or fluffy. It's so dense, like so, so dense. Whoever made the biscuit, I think, really overworked them while they were shaping them. So they have this like really hard, claggy, dense texture. Um, the gravy's fine. It's thick. It's not super salty. Um, they really want to let you decide on the salt in your food here at the Luxor Buffet. Um, but I am disappointed in the biscuit texture. It's, it's not very good. Um, 
Ooh, I haven't liked anything yet. That's not good. Okay, let's try the country fried steak. I do like country fried steak. Let's see how this. That's decent. It's pretty good. The breading is thin, um, and it's nice and even over the steak. It's pounded really thin. Uh, the meat's not chewy or anything. It's got a good texture. With the gravy over it, it's fine. So like that dish, that that is okay. I would eat that. So we got one I would eat. <laughs> let's try some breakfast sausage. Much more of a bacon fan than a breakfast sausage fan, but that is okay. These are kind of those thin puff sausage. I do like this more than I like like a link. Let's give it a go. That's pretty good too. Um, not super, super seasoned. Again, everything's verging on a little bland. I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. The texture's fine. It's cooked fine. I wish these potatoes were like well cooked because that would be nice to eat with these meats, but um, they're underdone. <laughs> okay, so two of the breakfast meats were good. I liked the country fried steak. I liked the sausage. Let's try this bacon. I was chewing that for a while. That is underdone. That bacon is very underdone. Um, there's pieces that are raw. It's like unevenly cooked. Uneven cooking seems to be the uh, theme here. I would eat the country fried steak if I was gonna eat anything on that plate, but everything else was like not prepared super well. Not a good start here. Um, let's go to the French toast. We've got some maple syrup. Let's give this a shot. It's fine. Um, the maple syrup's good. It's not super, it's like a good maple syrup actually. The French toast isn't very light. It's not like that nice fluffy brioche. It's very dense. Again, very, very dense. Um, but the flavor is good and it is cooked well. It's just kind of a denser piece of bread. So it doesn't have that nice light texture. Let's try the apple crepe. Um, they do have those cheese blitzes here. I've had those on most of the MG buffets. Those are usually pretty good. Let's see how this crepe is. That's fine. Um, the crepe is nice and thin. And then the apple pie filling is definitely like a prepared pie filling, but it's not bad by any means. Um, the apples are not super mushy or anything. They still have a nice bite to them. So that was pretty pleasant. Um, I would eat the crepe thing, the apple crepe thing again. I would probably eat this country fried steak. Everything else, I don't think I would eat again. Um, let's see how the lunch items are. Um, can I get one of each, please? Just a little of each, please. Thank you. Thank you. Is that turkey? Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. All right. We're going to grab a taco shell and make a taco here. This says chicken taco meat. Put that in there. Okay. A little taco action. Uh, charo beans. Looks like black beans. So let's do that. Okay. This says Mexican rice, but it looks very pale for Mexican rice in my uh, experience. But we'll give it a shot. We'll try it. Why not? I cannot read what that says. Pork panoli? Panoli? Pa Maybe they're trying to say pozzoli? It could be pozzoli. That looks like hominy, so maybe that's supposed to be soup. It's very thick for soup, but maybe that's what it is. So we did stop at the carving station. We also stopped at the Mexican section. So let's start with carving meats. I know you guys are always really curious about those. So they had a roast beef. Let's give that a shot. He did have sauces for these, like an au jus, a horseradish. I always try the meats without anything on them to see how they are on their own. The roast beef's a little tough, like a little tough. Um, it doesn't have a ton of flavor to it. It's just, Kind of tastes like roast beef. I don't, I don't have a great uh, descriptor for that because it's kind of lacking any sort of like sauce or flavor. That's probably why he wanted to give me an au jus for that. There's just not much to it. And it's a little too hard to chew for me, so I would probably skip that one. Uh, let's try the ham. The ham looked really good. It was falling apart really nice when I was cutting it. The ham was much better, actually. I really liked the ham. Um, it's just like a very simple, like salty ham like a salt brine, nothing crazy fancy, but it's good. And the texture is really nice. Um, it falls apart in your mouth. It's moist. Uh, I liked the ham, the ham is good. I would absolutely 
get that again if I was gonna come here and eat. Let's try the turkey. The turkey looked good. Same thing, the turkey cut really easily. Oh, the turkey's really good too. I actually really like that. The skin's got some kind of nice seasoning to it. It's got good flavor. The turkey's not dry at all, and that's usually the driest meat. This one is not dry. It looks really nice, cut really well, flavorful, tender. I'm happy with that. So, so far the roast beef is the only one I didn't like. Let's try this sausage here. It's like a sausage link. Um, hopefully this has a lot of seasoning, a lot of flavor. That's good too. Paprika in there, a little bit of kick, nothing crazy, just like a tiny bit of spice to that. Texture's good, a little crumbly, but nothing that you wouldn't expect from a sausage link. The casing has a nice snap, so these meats were all pretty good except for the roast beef. I would skip that one, but I was very happy with the ham and the turkey. I thought they were both good. I would eat those again. All right, let's try the Mexican station. I did grab a few things. I'm gonna start with this taco. So they just had some shells there and then they had what said was chicken meat. So no other descriptors than that, just chicken taco meat. Let's see. That's really solid. It actually tastes so good. Well, the flavor of the meat is delicious. It's got a taco seasoning flavor to it. So you've got cumin, a little garlic, a little chili, a little paprika there. The chicken is really soft. It's like nice and moist. And then the uh, shell actually has like good crunch to it. There's also a little bit of cilantro on that. The taco is very solid. I would absolutely eat tacos here. That is something I feel confident in recommending. So that's good. One thing we really liked, I actually really enjoyed the taco. It's good. Okay, let's try some beans and rice. So they said Mexican rice, but it's like very pale. Mexican rice to me is usually kind of orange. So I don't know what it's missing, but let's see what the deal is. So I kind of just had the beans and rice together. I'm getting a predominant green chili flavor, which is interesting. Um, it's really nice, I don't mind it at all. I'm trying to figure out if that's the beans or the rice giving me the green chili. It's the beans. The beans have green chilies mixed in. That's good, the black beans are nice. I do like that. The white rice, I'm just gonna call it white rice because that's essentially what it is. There's some corn in here and like some carrots but nothing about it is like Mexican rice to me. Like, it's just lacking flavor. There's nothing there. The black beans were good. Like at least the black beans have a really nice seasoning. There's green chilies. The taco had good seasoning. So when it comes to the Mexican food, they're not shying away from seasoning and spice, which I'm very happy to see. I am pretty convinced this is pozole. It's very thick for pozole. Pozole is a soup, but there wasn't that much broth. So, I mean, I just poured it onto my plate, but they did say it was a pork pozole. It's the red kind. Let's give it a go. Mm. That's good too. Mm. The hominy is nice. The pork is very soft, um, a nice chewiness to it. It's falling apart when I'm eating it. And the broth itself has great flavor. Like I'm getting a lot of the seasonings here. So overall in the Mexican station, they did do a pretty good job. I think these two plates were definitely an improvement. The carving meats, I would eat those. This taco was really good. And a lot of this Mexican stuff was definitely edible so not too bad we're gonna finish these and then we'll try what else they've got all right fried rice this looks good actually that fried rice looks delish let's get some of that and then right next to it is chicken teriyaki look at all these veggies in here this looks good oh the pot stickers look great too these look really nice let's get some of those yum so they've also got some cod and some plain white rice. I am gonna grab a veggie spring roll here. We'll add that to our plate. That looks good. They have a massive variety of pizza here. There are so many kinds. I see like olives on that one. There looks like green pepper. I'm gonna grab a slice of pepperoni. And then this one looks really interesting. There's like a barbecue and then that looks like a buffalo. I think I'm gonna grab the barbecue chicken. That looks really kind of good. All right. Time to go to the Asian section and we also grab some pizza. I'm gonna start with this fried rice. It looks really good. I can see a little bit of egg and some peas. That is perfectly good fried rice. Tastes really good. I taste soy sauce. Lots of soy sauce coming through. Um, could be a little bit more fried, if that makes sense. It's, it's not as like crispy or toasty as like if I were to make it at home, but it has been sitting. I understand it's a big batch. But I mean, I can taste the peas and the carrots in there, a little bit of onion. There's some 
Uh, I think there's a little bit of those like string beans in there. It's good. I liked it. No complaints there. Now this chicken teriyaki also looked pretty darn good. I see a lot of veggie in here. Um, the meat looks nice, so let's give this a go. It's good. Now it is a little soggy because there's a lot of vegetables in here, but the chicken is perfectly cooked. Like it's not a weird texture at all. The texture is amazing. I'm tasting a lot of green pepper flavor coming through. There's carrot, there's broccoli. It tastes pretty healthy. It's like a fresh kind of just chicken stir fry situation. I like it, I'm not mad, it's pretty good. And so is the fried rice. It seems like they're doing really well on the Mexican section here and the Asian section. And I feel like last buffet at Excalibur where we did it was the opposite. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, let's try pot stickers. I love pot stickers. So even if these are not good, I'm still gonna like them. Just fair warning. So just a dumpling wrapper, lightly pan fried with a little bit of filling in the middle and I'm sold. Like these are really good. I could eat 27 of those and be very satisfied. This plate's been making me very happy. I have no problem with it. Is it like gourmet Chinese? No. Is it like kind of mall food court Chinese? Kind of, but it's good. Like I'll eat it, you know? They have these spring rolls on like every MGM buffet, but I'll try it again just for posterity. Ooh, they're not as good here as the other places. It's undercooked. They need to crisp the wrapper a little bit more. It's, it's really soggy. So when I bit it, it was like kind of hard to bite. There's no crunch to it. So undercooking is definitely a problem here at Luxor Buffet. But the other stuff I really liked, I thought the rice was good. I would eat that with pot stickers. I could have a plate of that and be fine. Let's try some pizza. Now these are like big puffy pieces of pizza. They had a lot of variety, which was good to see. If you're into that kind of thing, you just want to eat pizza on your buffet. Uh, let's just try the plain pepperoni first. Oh, the bread is hollow. So when I bit that, I got crunch and air. And then I don't know, we'll try to pick this up, but there's like no topping on this. So I'm tasting like a little bit of cheese over like really crunchy air bread. Um, so not good. Let me try the other one with more toppings on it and see if it makes a difference. Like this one's like a barbecue chicken. There's like pickled um, red onion on here. There's some chicken, cilantro even maybe. Let's see how this one is. It's like they put pizza toppings on top of like cardboard or styrofoam. Like it's one of those. Like the texture of the crust is so bad. <laughs> like I, I truly can't, I don't want to eat that. Like it's not good. So <laughs> the pizza was a swing and a miss. I'm going to eat all the rest of this Chinese food um, and then we'll see what else they've got. Let's make a salad. This is the Luxor Blend House Salad. Ooh, ooh fancy. Let's have a little bit of that. All right, lots of toppings. I'm going to get a couple cucumbers and how about some carrot shred? Yum. I love eggs on my salad. My Cobb salad kind of girl. Yum. And we'll do some cheese and beans. All right, Mr. Ruby, do you want to do the shrimp test? <laughs> so no shrimp today. <laughs> but they've got other stuff here, but he doesn't want to try it. <laughs> All right, before we stop at my favorite section, dessert, I did decide to grab a salad. Now, other than like some fish and some mashed potatoes, we basically grabbed all the hot food selection there was to try. Now in the center of the buffet is this huge salad bar wraps all the way around. They have like a yogurt section. There's some soups there. They had some grits. They had like a couple of deli salad type things. That's where there was the shrimp that Mr. Ruby did not feel like trying today. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's fresh fruit, um, not a ton of variety here. So I did just grab a salad. I figured to get more of our money's worth. Um, and I thought I would let you know how it is. Cause if the salad's good, at least you could pile up a huge salad and some fruit um, and get like $17 worth. Let's see. Salad's totally fine. Very fresh, all the lettuce tastes fresh, all the veggies are fresh, the dressing's fine. I'm gonna finish this up and then we are gonna see what they have on the desserts to try. All right, we got quite a few to try here. German chocolate cake, that looks really nice. Um, this back here looks delicious. I think that's a brownie. These are really pretty, whatever these are. This is like a raspberry thing. Lemon and raspberry, like a Swiss roll. Let's try that, that looks nice. Um, okay, let's see. This is called churro, 
churro cake, like churro bite. Let's try that. I like churros. Let's grab a red velvet cupcake. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna try this cake here. This looks nice. Chocolate marble. Chocolate. Chocolate marble. Chocolate marble. All right, it is time for dessert. Their selection was small-ish. There was like a little end cap. Um, so I did grab quite a few to try. Let's start right away with the chocolate stuff and work our way over. German chocolate cake, one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. I was worried it was gonna be dry. It's really not. It's a very, very light, fluffy chocolate cake. And then the topping's just kind of this subtle little coconutty addition. It's really not bad. It's not super sweet and it's not super chocolatey, so it's a little bit forgettable, but it was fine. Uh, let's try this. I think this is like a brownie or a dark chocolate cake. I think last time I was here, I really disliked the desserts. I'm hoping that that's not gonna happen again. Let's see how these are. Oh, that one's a little dry. So the chocolate flavor is excellent. Like the icing on top is a really nice chocolatey flavor and the cake itself is way more flavorful but it's drier. It was like kind of like sucking the moisture out of my mouth. So one had a good texture, one had a good flavor, but neither of them were amazing. Let's try this marble cake. I have high hopes. I love marble cake. She's underrated. It seems like such a boring cake flavor, but it's so good. Best out of the three. Mmm. That one's actually good. That thick hostessy icing on the top. And then the cake itself has a great texture. It's nice and soft. And I'm tasting the chocolate ribboned in with the yellow cake. That one's good. That would be the only one I would eat out of those. This Swiss roll thing looks amazing. It looks like a raspberry swirl and there's some kind of like a sugar dusting on the top. I don't know, I'm intrigued. I'm ready, here we go. Ooh, that's horrible. Oh, I don't like that. They used, um, I think there's like a raspberry powder or something over the top and they use like artificial raspberry. And it tastes like cough syrup. Like it is like so overwhelming. Like the, the yellow cake is very claggy. It's like very thick and dense. And then you just get like punched in the face with like the fake raspberry flavor. Ooh, that was really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, I'm glad we didn't do that one last. Ooh, don't don't get that one. Oh, I had high hopes. It looked really pretty. It's bad. Let's try this churro thing. Moving on. Churro. This is like a churro cake. I think those are little chocolate chips. And then there's like a churro topping on it. It looks kind of moist. Let's see how this is. Oh, much better. That's yummy. It's like a vanilla chocolate chip muffin texture. Like a nice moist muffin with a bunch of cinnamon sugar crumble on the top. That one's good harmless. Whew. I definitely would pick that over whatever that was. Let's try this uh, cupcake. I don't have high hopes. Cupcakes are always a huge disappointment on these buffets, you guys. I think they, oh, it looks so dry. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Ooh. That was so dry. <laughs> <laughs> It's so dry, it just sucked all the moisture out of my mouth. Which is a shame because the flavor of the red velvet's actually really good. Like I can taste that flavor. And the fry, the uh, cream cheese icing is really good too. Like the icing was good and the flavor is good, but it's like so dry. I think the poor thing's just been sitting there, unfortunately. Um, of the six I tried, the marble cake was good and this churro cake thing was pretty good. Um, those were good. The rest, I think I would probably skip. <laughs> Overall, not great. <laughs> All right, just finished up here at Luxor Buffet. I have to say, I don't know if I really liked it that much. In terms of if I would pay full price, definitely not. If you have the coupon, yes, I do think you can get $17 worth. But of the other buffet options on there with MGM Grand and Excalibur, I would use your buy one, get one over there more than here at Luxor. This is probably the worst one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway and found it helpful. We'll see you guys all in the next.